Hello, in this video I will be talking about uh, an assignment I'm currently doing in computer science. It has to do with logic gates and circuits and seven segment decoders. So if you're interested about those concepts, I will be going <laughs> through a bit of that today. At this way! So the assignment is this one. Uh, I mean, that's part of the assignment, is to use seven bit decoders, those things. Uh, that display numbers like these um, in order to output uh, your student ID number at McGill. Um, so you do a certain circuit and according to the input, you have four inputs that can um, that can um, encode the, the numbers 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 001, etc, etc. Uh, so it goes from zero um, in decimal to Eight. It can go higher, but you don't care about higher numbers because your student ID number has eight numbers. And so you create a circuit with AND and OR gates, which I will present over here. Like those are gates we're using in those circuits. And um, to summarize really quickly, um, depending on the inputs, it outputs uh, a certain thing. So if your inputs are zero and zero and you have AND AND gate, uh, the output is zero, stuff like that. But it's using binary binary numbers in order to um, create interesting circuits. And I will show you what I've got right now. So this is the circuit that I built um, for like two hours uh, yesterday, including doing some truth tables and stuff like that. Uh, as you can see, we can add components. We can link them to the rest of the circuit pretty easily with wires. And um, it's pretty intuitive, and it's really fun actually to to work on that. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna delete all of that. It's harder to delete than create, but uh, oh well. And as you can see, I can do my uh, McGill ID by inputting different um, stuff on the left. So to change numbers, we can poke them. Here I have a one, and then I can change that to uh, well, that's a three, then a two. Um, there you go, but on the right, as you can see, the decoder has some mistakes in it. There's basically two segments that are not working right now. It's this one and the last one, because I messed up some uh, algebra in order to arrive to this kind of circuit, so I have to fix that. But the thing is, you don't build a circuit like this from scratch and try to think about what the outputs will be according to certain input. You need to be strategic with this, and you use truth tables in order to do that. Truth tables are basically tables that um, display all possible inputs and then um, on certain columns write the outputs corresponding to certain inputs. So that's what I did. And I did basically two truth tables and this one is the one that is coding every single segment on the seven segment decoder. You go from S0 to S6 not going to go too much into details because you don't really care about that but basically after doing those truth tables you uh, transform these truth tables into boolean expressions which basically again i'm trying to explain a bit different uh, parts of the assignment because i think it's really interesting algebraic expressions but according to different inputs if they are positive if they are one in binary you just put the letter like a zero if they are negative, zero in binary, you put A0 with a bar on top. And from this, you can put do a whole formula with like addition and multiplication corresponding to the uh, OR gate, uh, addition and multiplication corresponding to the AND gate. And from this, and the negation is corresponding to um, a, a NOT gate. And from these three um, simple um, operations, you can build uh, really interesting circuits like I showed you those that that circuit that I showed you was only with those three operations and you get these operations uh, by doing the boolean algebra and you minimize those expressions through Carnot maps and basically it looks a bit like this so here I'm doing a certain input it's Carnot map it's you can look it up on uh, YouTube or on Google, it's really interesting to find the common ones and put it into expression, Boolean expressions. It's a bit long, but it's much shorter than what I would have got only with the truth table. So I did tables for these. 
And from this, I'm able to have my circuit. But there's one problem with my circuit, as I showed you. There's like um, two that I tried to do with some algebra that actually wasn't good at all. I didn't respect one of the rules, so I need to go back on it, write a better Boolean expression, and hopefully my circuit will work. And I will show you that later today, because that's what I'm going to work on uh, right now. I'm back, and uh, after a couple of Patchell Bell's Canon in D minor early in the morning, uh, I was able to figure out what was wrong in my both my Boolean algebra and my circuit. So first of all, I applied De Morgan's rule badly, and that's going to be important for later on because De Morgan is a rule in Boolean algebra that is not that intuitive, um, un unlike other rules. So that's important, and I'll think about that later on. And I got also mix mi mixed up in some of my wiring because it is a bit of a messy circuit. I tried to minimize it, but it's kind of messy. And as we can see, with all zeros, we get a two. So I, I hid the last digits of my ID number because I don't want to show you. But with all zeros, um, it's two. Now it becomes six. And with a one, it's zero. So the first three numbers are right. And I checked and all of the numbers are correct. So that's the end of this assignment. Um, I'll have to submit all of that, and I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna be good. So that was the video for today, I hope you like it. If you want to, uh, me to show you how I do other uh, assignments, I will try to do that. And I tried to go a bit more into details about what I'm learning in this class and what I'm implementing, so um, I hope you like it, and um, you know. Have a good day.